tonight, parents banding together to speak up at Tyler ISD school board meeting about COVID-19 related topics like vaccines and mask mandates. KTK's Lauren Margolis was at tonight's meeting as the debate continued. Lauren, what do these parents think about mandates in schools? Well, Casey, most parents we spoke to are doing their best to fight against mandates, and tonight the school board voted no to a mask mandate. But other groups say the fight isn't over yet. Vaccines and masks in schools have been topics in the hot seat since the start of classes. Subjects that have divided parents and staff in school districts across the state and here in Tyler. Parents say they've been speaking up since last month when the school board voted to give a $500 incentive to teachers who got the vaccine. It's unjust to, to just give money to a certain group of, of teachers. That is uh, against medical privacy and it is against civil rights, especially of those who are deciding to not get the vaccine. While Tyler schools want to reward vaccinated teachers, some parents feel this money should be used elsewhere. I would like to see the money go primarily to students um, who need help catching up, you know, for uh, counseling and um, any impact that the lockdowns had on students. If we can incentivize all of them to take control of their own health instead of um, dividing out just simply those who take the vaccine, I think that would be a great way. The group says they plan on attending every meeting in this building until their voices are heard. 100% we will keep coming and we will not stop until we are heard and until they understand um, what the people want and what parents, what is important to the parents. Here you can see parents wearing red to show they are against the school's vaccine incentive policy and a mask mandate. Almost every single person that I know of that actually wears a mask or puts masks on their children are not for mandating it against others. For now, the district has voted against face masks. The next board meeting is set for October 18th, and the group does plan on attending it. Live in studio, Lauren Margolis, KTK News.